Solus without gateway. Hold the button with the red circle surrounding it pressed until the circle starts blinking. If you had a snag here, there will be further instructions at the end. After putting the batteries in your thermostat, it should start up automatically, showing codes for programming versions, etc. You'll find that the display has UFH blinking, which stands for underfloor heating. It might have said RAD for radiator, but you can change it to UFH by pressing the button with an arrow pointing up since we're handling underfloor heating. That makes join up here and then pair, which is what we want to do. So we press OK again. UU1 appears, which stands for the connection box. Since there's only one, that's correct. By pressing the button with an arrow pointing right, we move on to the number on the bottom right that indicates which of the eight coils we're controlling. Since it's number one, we'll press OK. Now with one programming done, you can set the time, etc. Instructions come with the product. This is where we press the button with an arrow pointing left to get a ring marked around the sun. That gives us an even temperature throughout the day. To make sure the programming worked, we raised the temperature to near max. For example, 35 degrees Celsius. The cycle takes a couple seconds, so we might have to wait for the green light to shine by coil 1. When we turn the temperature down to the wanted temperature and press OK, the green light should turn off. Repeat the same procedure with every coil until you've gone through them all. End programming by pressing the first button we pushed, holding it until the ring is lit continuously, and you're done. If, however, you ran into a snag right at the beginning, and the lights are double blinking, you won't be able to program anything until you reset. Hold the button down until it shines continuously in orange, which comes after the blinking. Then hold the pair button for about 10 seconds. That should make the two other diodes blink red once. After that, you just press reset, preferably with something narrow and pointy, and your reset and you can do as explained above.